Well, I hit a milestone on YouTube today. Two million views. Two million views on my channel. Um, I'm, I'm getting really close to 200,000 hours also. 200,000 of... 200,000 hours of viewed videos. I have right around 4,200 videos. 4,200 videos on YouTube. And um, I get a lot of questions. Uh, what's your favorite machine? What If you had to get rid of all your machines except one, what would you, your one machine, what's your go-to machine? And I, I use a lot of machines in my videos. I have a lot of, of machines that I don't, uh, use in my videos, especially recently, um, since I've been getting these newer machines, you know, testing these new machines for the manufacturers. Um, I'll tell you which machines I would not be keeping um, that are not my favorite. Um, my older machines, my older machines break fairly easy. The parts are hard to find. They take a lot of freaking batteries and batteries are really expensive. If you're running the older machines that have double A, um, like eight double A batteries or two nine volt batteries, you better be freaking getting a gold ring on every hunt just to pay for your damn batteries, right? <laughs> if you hunt every day like me, right? And the older machines are not waterproof, they're not durable, they're really bulky, um, except for my, my Tesoros. My Tesoros are fairly lightweight, but they take expensive batteries and they're not durable and I just can't get parts for them anymore. And they have to be tuned. You know, you have to take them into the shop and get them tuned and whatnot. If you let them sit for too long, they go out of tune and they don't just don't work very good. Um, I have several machines like that. So, um, you think that it was the Simplex, you know? Let's start with the Simplex. The Simplex is a really good machine. I have a lot of videos on the Simplex. I think it's an excellent machine, a good beginner's machine, you know, entry-level machine, or maybe, you know, mid, mid-range machine um, for a good price. Um, it struggles in my soil when it's wet, you know? Um, I have hot soil. It struggles when you get over bed of nails. You know, when you get over bed of nails, like beep, 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 beep. You can't pinpoint, you know, the targets. It's a three-tone machine, very simple. And you cannot adjust the frequency on that machine so you're stuck in 12 kilohertz so it doesn't do the wet salt sand. So if you want to take the simplex to the beach, you can't do the wet salt sand. You need a multi-frequency machine at the beach. And, um... The simplex, when you get over iron or you get into some EMI, it's going to be really unstable. It's going to be hard to adjust the machine without dropping the gain down, and that really decreased the depth. Um, a lot of guys say, no, it's not going to decrease the depth. Well, I have thousands and thousands, over 2,000 hours on the, the simplex. Um, I know all about the simplex. Um, the simplex ha does not have fine increments of discrimination. It has segments of five. So you're stuck with 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and you have to basically discriminate all that out. It doesn't do notches like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have notches of five. So you're really limited on where you can go and like beat up spots or if you get around some trash that you want to try to notch out and it just doesn't it doesn't work that way, right? It has notches of five, so um, not very fine tunable. And when you get around EMI, you can't change the frequency. It's just 12 kilohertz. So, um, but it ha it's the simplex is probably the most durable machine I've ever used in my life in nearly indestructible machine. I've tried to kill the simplex, never happened, right? You've seen me kick the thing up 20 feet in the air, I don't know, dozens and dozens and dozens of times, never broken a simplex, right? Just just, just mind blowing how, how durable and how good of performance the simplex is for just a few bucks. And it's definitely not gonna be the Equinox. I, you know, out of all the machines that I've ever used um, in my, the last 30 years, the Equinox has the best, the smoothest tones. Very easy, simple to use. You don't have to tweak it when it, when it comes out of the box. You don't have to adjust the tone break and all the, um, the, the, the discrimination stuff. Um, pretty much zero is, zero is where iron's at, right? It's not, it, it's clear cut 
with the equinox um with iron it's right at zero and uh the equinox is a deep seeking machine very good tones it's multi-frequency and it's very easy to read the screen the buttons are easy to push the layout of it is really good and um it's a lightweight machine but I mean, it's just a piece of junk right the plastic on it's the worst some of the worst plastic i've ever seen on any machine even the freaking 59 dollar machines have better plastic than the equinox on it right so i can't take the equinox into um the rough conditions like the the creeks right the creeks are the hardest conditions i can ever be in or the tall grass you know if i try to take the equinox down to the creek or in tall grass it's going to break the first day right and it's not built very good but i love the equinox the performance of the equinox is great the depth the tones superior right it's very very easy to use too you can just step right in equinox and just start killing it you know pretty quick really simple um the deus 2 let's look at the deus 2 um definitely not the deus 2 i would i would not want to have the deus 2 as my only machine you know they they basically really concentrated the they really um spent most of their energy and most of their time in design and research and development with the deus 2 on its underwater capabilities and right now you know i don't hunt underwater right um i i don't dive i don't hunt at the the ocean at the beach but it i i do have to say that the deus 2 is the smoothest operation on my magnetic black sand beach i've ever seen it was pretty amazing just completely silent um other machines are really unstable in my mac you, you, if you've seen my videos, the black sand on my beaches are is really thick, very dense black sand, so it's really hard to hunt my beaches. And the user friendliness of the machine, you know, um, when I turn on the Deus 2, um, like in sensitive full tones program, and I just turn it on, the machine just goes batshit crazy on my soil, right? The full tones, it's just, it's not working right now. You know, eventually they'll figure it out. XP engineers will figure that out. But um, that's just uh, gonna be coming very shortly. You know, they're, they're working on it hard. But it's been several months. It's, you know, they've had a lot of time to figure this out. Um, and there's no small coil for the Deus 2. And, um, you know, I want to use the Deus 2 and Tot Lots. Tot Lots are the, high, the, the highest concentration of jewelry I know of anywhere on the face of the earth, right? Jewelry is just so abundant in playgrounds. It's just sickening. And basketball courts. And the Deus 2 just doesn't do it very well. It's just too powerful machine. Um, when you have a really powerful machine and you're trying to go shallow like I'm trying to do, um, I want to go for the jewelry, the gold rings, and the small stuff. You have to really dial machines back that are really powerful. And I don't have a... I, I, of course, I'm not using the 11-inch coil on the Deus 2. I'm using the 9-inch. But if they had a smaller coil, it would be that much more versatile. And I'll be able to like take in the top lots and take it in the extreme trash. You know, the, the Deus 2 is, is struggling right now because I can't use it in full tones, right? So, and that's where it really thrives at, full tones in the, in the severe, in the extreme trash, you know. Um, but it's waterproof, you know, I can take it out in the creek. Um, I haven't had it in the creek yet, but um, the antenna is kind of funky to get on there and it wants to kind of, the the remote wants to fall off the shaft really easy because I'm I'm in really really rough terrain when I'm hunting in the water, you know I can't use um I can't use a weak machine when I'm in the water because it's it's just so hard and hard on the equipment, um it's hard on all of my equipment, it's even hard on my body when I hunt in the water, um and it's not going to be um the deus 2 it's not going to simplex not going to be the equinox not going to be the amphibio um 
the machine that I would want to have if I had to get rid of all of my machine, I, all of my machines, I have just so many of them, I can't count them. Um, it would be my Deus 1 HF setup. That machine is unfreaking real for rings and jewelry, small jewelry near the surface. You know, it, uh, I cannot go deep in my soil anyway because it's so mineralized. You know, I only have, you know, I can only go so far and swing so slow um, when go go deep and, and swing fast. You know, I, I can't do that with other machines, right? The, the Deus one with the HF coils on it, I can swing fast and I can go seven inches deep, six inches deep. But when I hit iron, you know, I have to slow down a little bit. And, but I can put it in pitch tones or five tones or whatever I want to do. Um, but the hot program, you turn the machine on, ground balance and go, you don't have to freaking adjust anything. That machine is deadly, deadly on jewelry, small jewelry. It's deadly on coins. It's deadly on rings on edge at 14 kilohertz, especially at 14 or 31 kilohertz, just deadly. And it's, you don't have to manage anything. You don't have to manage any tones or tone breaks. You don't have to manage any discrimination. Just hot program and, and just go, right? And uh, it's a durable machine. It's lightweight. It can do the tot lots. No other machine can do the tot lots like the Deus One. Nothing can even touch it, come close to it. It's world, it's universes ahead of any other detector, even the Deus Two. Right, a lot of people say, oh, the Deus 2 is awesome tall lots. Well, you haven't used a Deus 1 yet, have you? <laughs> right? The Deus 1 is deadly, deadly in tall lots because the hot program is, is perfect for a park or, a, or trash or extreme trash or, or iron, you know, extreme iron. The, the nine inch HF coil, the round coil is really good in the iron, quite a bit better than the five by nine coil, but the five by nine coil is just superior. Um, I've used so many, dozens and dozens and dozens of machines in tot lots and nothing has ever come close to the Deus one with that HF coil on it. I can get underneath those tight spots, don't have to make any adjustments. I can just go all around the whole park everywhere to the top lots the the benches the freaking uh the basketball courts um i can go a little bit deeper i can get around the trash um i can go in the curb strip you know in the height emi and not have to make any adjustments just in one program the hot program 14 kilohertz just tears it up you saw my videos last year you know um when that was that process of learning the deus one you know, I had the O, o or X and I didn't, didn't really like because there wasn't really a lot of, um, a lot of settings that, that are really needed for um, hunting and trash and high EMI. And um, the, once I got the Deus, I tried all kinds of things. You know, I tried the pitch tones, I tried five tones, I tried um, different programs, but I just ended up in that hot program. The hot program is just a hot rod. I, I actually like the uh, deep program with the hot settings. I discriminated just a little bit to discriminate the, the, um, the, the minerals in the ground. A little bit of the minerals. But it's just so easy to use, man. It's just, you can swing it super fast. No other machine can get as many targets out as the Deus One. I have not found a machine that's faster than the Deus One. Not even the Legend. Not even the Deus Two. There's just no way. You know, and it's durable. You know, I can th I can throw the machine around, and it's super lightweight. I can take the coil out of the shaft and get underneath those super tight spots that no other machines can even dream of going to, right? So I can rotate, I can rotate that thing like this. With other big machines, you got this big old bulky um, unit on it. Um, with the Deus 1 and the Deus 2, I always have my machine, my remote underneath my chin. And I just go by tones. All my machines, I go by tones, you know. Um, and that's a really good tonal machine. It's just the perfect fit for me, you know. Um, it's a good fit for me because I'm not trying to go deep. And one thing that has, one thing that's really important to know about the Deus One, if you want a deep seeking machine, um, right out of the box that's easy to use, 
and the Deus One is not that machine. You have to learn how to use the machine if you, it's, it's a learning curve. It's a, it's a little bit tougher learning curve um, with the Deus machine because um, the tones are different from any other machine. The tones are really um, complex. Um, in the full tones, it's easy to learn. You know, you start out in hot program and learn the full tones that way and then go deeper as you go. Um, but I really don't use the Deus One to go deep, right? Because I'm getting gold rings. You saw how many gold rings and just rings and jewelry I was getting with that Deus One. Just like bam, 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 bam. Just slaughtering the ground, man. It's crazy how fast you can swing that Deus One. And you don't worry have to worry about it missing too much stuff within five inches deep because the the depth is just it's it's just set up just right that hot program is set up just right and it's an older machine you know it's a 13 14 year old machine so it's been it's been developed and the, the uh, there's been several versions of the XP Deus one these newer machines they're just starting to work the bugs out right so um i'm not going to be able to get as many targets out with these newer machines because i'm still learning them a lot um but with the deus one it's just intuitive right it's been refined and refined and refined throughout the years with software and whatnot and the design of the shaft um and just, just all of its components just fit together they just fit together um, to be a tonal machine and getting a lot of targets out fast. You know, that's that's the one machine that I will never ever get rid of is my Deus one with my HF coil on it. I just it just clicked on me the first you know the first few months of using that it just clicked on me. The hot program I was getting so many I have I had never gotten that many targets out in that amount of short amount of time. That many rings and jewelry and coins um, it's just crazy. The, H, the HF coils really are a long, they're really ahead of the game. And that's an older machine comparing that to the newer machines, the multi freak SMF and FMF machines. You don't have to have multi frequency machines to kill it. Thank you for watching.